that's it. Mm. Nothing else. <laughs> Any, uh, anybody want to ask a, a question or, or reflect uh, in any way? Please uh, shout out. Don't, don't wait to be asked. How did your story end, Peter? Hello, Valerie. Hello. <laughs> Hello. God. How, how did your original screenplay, uh, your, your uh, pitch, end? Well, I, I, I'm, well, I'm going to write... Write it. Yeah, I'm going to write a novel or something. I'm going to use it. I've still got it. So I'm, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but I'm glad you asked, because that was one question. Anybody else got one? <laughs> Questions? Can I ask something else? Yes, yes. Um, there's a photograph on the wall of um, what looks Lucy like Troy. Mrs. Margaret, oh, no. Elizabeth Taylor, and mm. Peter Bowles, uh, or as it were, George Trout. Mm. Uh, is that a picture of you in a reel? Uh, I don't know. Oh, so we, we, we made up a lot of pictures. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Udan, you, 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 Jason LaHell shot the film for you. I, I spoke to him in Los Angeles last week. He sends all, all his love. Oh, but great. was that an early um, use of Steadicam? The momentum of the film is driven by, his, by the camera. It's wonderful, yeah, no, wonderfully uh, fluid. Uh, yes, I, that was a mature decision I made very early. As Peter says, the, the script has huge energy, so it just had to move, mm. you know, in every sense. So we shot it in three weeks, didn't we? We shot it very fast, yeah. Yeah, yeah in 20, 20 days, I think, 21 days, something like that. And so the study cam was great because it, it just had that energy, you know, that trans translated the energy of the script mm. and the characters, everything they were feeling was... My um, two main memories of it, uh, in practical terms as an actor, was that um, I had a driver to take me to the locations every day. And uh, after about five or six days, and obviously we're doing six days with long hours, you know, and he'd say, uh, morning, Pete, uh, uh, are you all right? I'd say, yes. Oh, you don't look well. <laughs> uh, no, I'm fine. No, oh, no, you don't look well. They're, they're working you too hard, Pete. Uh, and this went on for several days, so I'd arrive at the makeup feeling, you know, it must look awful. Uh, anyway, I spoke to Verity and he was replaced. And I felt <laughs> <laughs> much better. You know. uh, and the other was that huge scene that you've just seen with uh, Rajan Seth. Um, when we uh, arrived, at the, I mean, I was working, as you can see, so hard. Um, that to learn, to learn it, it was, you know, pouring in all the time. And I had discovered years before, that when you're doing a film, you mustn't sort of learn it beforehand, because things change all the time. So I was trying to learn everything um, as we went along, uh, having a pretty good idea. But when we came to that big scene uh, in the, um, the bank, I, I, I hadn't learned. I hadn't learnt it, and my memory of it is r reading it for the setup, and then while it was being lit, I looked at the script and absorbed, learnt it, and then we had to shoot. And that I'd never spoken it before. Um, I couldn't do that now, but uh, that that I remember that I was very frightened. And, uh, and everything that um, came out, it just came out like that. <laughs> James, you did several BBC films with Simon, yes. didn't you? I did four. Four. What you, what, what's your abiding uh, memory of working with Simon? Well, I didn't see a lot of him. So, I mean, he sometimes gave the read throughs but I wasn't privy to them. I was always terribly pleased to see him. Uh, <coughs> so you knew you were a favourite actor without necessarily well, I, I, being I close? Say, I, I wasn't sure that was the case, but... Uh, well, I think you were a favourite, Simon Gray. There's not much, can't be much doubt about that. Um, how many did we do here? We did three. 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 I'd never worked with either of these gentlemen before, so I obviously wasn't a favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, please. Um, I know you were involved in Simon's career, but I was wondering how it was going to end. Was it from your original or was it Simon's? No, it's Simon. Yes. 
But what was great about it was uh, when I look at that, I think, there's Rennie Asherson's in that film. You know, she was in Henry V with Olivia. Yeah, oh, yeah, great, great. I was so And then you look at all of and you think, God, that's, it was such a thrill. Oh, it was, it? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, it and was. She was Privileged. nervous, I remember. She was really great nervous actually. on the day and very fidgety. Mm -hmm. And I thought, the real McCoy. Was, she was fantastic. Yeah. Just fantastic. And there were other, there's um, Susan Lynch, who's now doing much bigger And that was her first TV job. Mm. So it's great. And the costume design, and it went on to win Oscars. Yes, she did, yeah. 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 She did. And yeah. also, she put me, uh, up until that time, I'd never worn a modern suit. I was always very traditional in my uh, dress. And uh, she put me into uh, Armani, and um, and you, have to you never look back. On it. <laughs> <laughs> it was very thrilling because I was filming uh, abroad, and uh, she used to come out bringing different suits and things. I felt very grand. Um, it's, uh, life's been very different since. Um, I don't think Simon actually came on the set when we worked. Simon it? never comes on. No. Never came on the no. set. He never. I mean, he just didn't get up early enough. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't his thing. He found it boring really? and frustrating, you know, because there was nothing for him to do. No. He's he quite does. shy though, I don't He's quite shy about it. Yeah. He came to the cutting room, and that was wonderful, mm -hmm. because actually this was also one of the first films to be cut on this, on what was then the new system of non-linear editing. And Simon loved all of that because you could see the results instantly yeah. compared to film. And again, you had to hold him back. He would start cutting and, <laughs> you know, scenes would disappear. And he said, no, 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 Simon, let's keep, you know. So you, you shot Running Late, you shot this film. What was the third? I did They Never Slurp, Running Late, and Fun Fatale. And of the three, which is your favourite? Oh, no, they're all so different. I couldn't possibly choose mm -hmm. between the three. You know, even with... Peter next to me. I oh, should say running late. Oh. <laughs> but they were they were they were so different. But they all had fantastic energy and surrealism. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, and surrealism. <laughs> and they were wild, mad, you know. One of the great things about about this is that you can see clips from many of these films and many others on uh, the SimonGray.org.uk. Is that the right right word? Yes. Website. It's a fantastic uh, resource which Victoria Gray and her amazing team are continually um, building up so that Simon's work really can be given its proper place. Um, and that's part of what we're trying to do here. And it's part of what we're doing on the 30th of, uh, of this month when we show the wonderful, after Pilkington with Miranda Foster, uh, Miranda Richardson, Barry Foster, and uh, Bob Peck. Uh, it's a, another super film. Well, I think what what we should also say, I don't know if any of anybody here can help, but really the BBC should release all his films on the DVD, on oh, DVD yeah, box set. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Well, if you've got any influence, then please exert it. We, we are trying to apply whatever pressure we can to, uh, to um, well, persuade, require the BBC to make accessible to us the films that we paid for in the first place. So if you do feel like writing to um, the Director General, uh, please do. Uh, meanwhile, do let's go and have a delicious supper at Rowley's. I want to thank these three, not just for, for being here tonight, but for the work that they put in, in what I think is a, a gem of a film. And uh, many, many thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.